taken my wonderful boss here to, to share some exciting news with you. And I've been holding back and I've, I've like been keeping it in and trying to be quiet about it and you didn't get your interactive notebooks yesterday like you normally do. I had a plan. So I want to share with you today what my plan is. But before I do that, I want you to watch a quick video that's going to kind of kick off what I'm here and what we're all here today to share with you. Thank you. 
and I cannot be prouder of you. I realized this morning uh, we've been on a little trek around the cluster <laughs> since I called this morning. We started at Mulberry and then we went over to Dukula Elementary and then we went to Alcoba and now we're here and then at 2 o'clock we're going to to share this great news with the high school staff. And on this trip, I was excited to do it. Obviously, it's been a fun day to get to talk to all the staffs and to share and to say thank you. Incredible job that everyone's doing. But I missed out on Brad's I talk. <laughs> what great things can happen when we do what I asked you to do yesterday morning and that is to embrace and to trust and to believe that the work that we're doing is the right work for the children of our cluster and for our, of our community. And we would not be here today if it weren't for my colleagues that share this vision with me and that have led the way. So I want to introduce you to our cluster principals, my partners in crime, and we can get into quite a bit of trouble from time to time. So, you know, we don't post anything, those so are just <laughs> But I'd like to start by introducing the, the not new to the school, but the new principal at Mulberry Elementary, Mr. Jonathan Day. <laughs> the newest member of our team that we're very excited to have on board from Dukula Elementary is Ms. Holly Warren. <laughs> and then from across 316, our buddy at Alcoba Elementary, Dr. Todd Langley. And from our high school, as he transitions his way up here, because he's going to take the mic as well, our, our leader truly of this initiative that has helped pull it all together for us and bring it to the point that we are today, and that is my wonderful colleague and friend, Dr. Brian Long. copied me on the email, and it said, the ballots are in, 
The envelope has been opened, and one cluster has emerged as the clear winner of the E-Class Transformational Award, and that's the Nikula Cluster. So, this award is absolutely something that goes to each and every one of you. That's why all five principals made sure we all went to every school today, and we wanted to make sure the award went to every teacher in this cluster, because we could not have earned it without you. You are the ones that really are earning this award every day. And so we wanted to make this about the celebration of your excellent work and the amazing things you rock star teachers are doing that make us look good and are getting so much attention. Now, those of you who know me know I kind of like branding. I like to put our brand out there. And so you're going to get some stuff today that we're going to try to uh, have some meaningful branding for you. Um, the logo that we've chosen we ended up firing like two companies that tried to make the shirt because it was kind of a pain to get this logo onto a shirt. It's not easy to embroider this apparently. And so, but we didn't just want it to just have like a falcon head on it. We wanted it to have some meaning to it, some real meat to it. And so this logo has four puzzle pieces. And the E-Class puzzle piece is the one that we're adding with this initiative. But the other puzzle pieces about student engagement about enrichment, about remediation, or going back and supporting students. Those are the same rock star work you guys have been working on for years. Those are the same high quality, knowing who's with us in formative assessment, going back and differentiating, meeting student need, giving kids an opportunity to thrive and grow. It's all the great work that is master teaching. This just takes us to another level. Um, John Willis was a teacher at GSMST. Um, I saw him do a presentation at Summer Leadership about seven or eight years ago when I was actually in the discipline office. And he talked about the fact that the master teacher, you want them bumping their head up against the limit of what they can accomplish before you put the technology in the room, and then they'll know the right work to be done with it. So when Mr. Wilbanks came out and we presented to him, I said to him, the cue is the right cluster. Because our teachers do know the right work. Our teachers are doing the high quality foundational pieces of instruction that show they're ready and they're going to use the technology for the right thing. I told him that in the Decula cluster, this technology will not collect dust. I've been out to Forsyth and I saw they put five devices in every classroom and I talked to the principals and I said, when you go around and do observations, how often do you see these devices used? And they said they basically never see them in use. I assured Mr. Wilbanks, if you write a substantial check to our cluster, these devices will be used. <laughs> I also said that I've seen them used, you know, you remember the old poster board project that the kid could spend weeks on it and they learn a lot from it. I said this, that these devices will not be used for educational arts and crafts. They will be used for meaningful, robust work because our teachers know about high quality teaching and learning. And so I, I assured him that our teachers are up to the challenge because I know you guys are. You're rock stars, you're ready, you're ready to kill this, and that's just what we're doing. We're just adding that piece to the puzzle to take us to the next level because you guys are ready, you've done the work. So each of you today is going to get to wear a shirt, and we have all different styles from like three-quarter sleeve and like um, polos to long sleeve shirts. Oh, like yeah! is a little different. Yours is the actual interactive notebook that you use and it has the logo on the cover and then on the inside it has the vision for what the transform classroom looks like. And so it has things like, um, I use instructional technology too and then it has four different things. Increase active engagement of my students. Assess which students are comprehended instruction and which students are not, etc. And then it has why those things matter. And it talks about the fact that, you know, this is how these kids learn. We need to know who's with us. We need to provide opportunities to meet them where they are and things like that. So it has our vision for that transformed classroom. And then the final thing we're doing is kind of branded is we produce, we're going to have these coins produced. And they're these heavy, high-quality coins in these nice blue side cases with a little stand. And on one side it has the logo, and on the other side it has um, in, a, in recognition of your innovative and um, transformational instruction. And we're going to give those out when we see amazing, high-quality, transformational lessons as an award to teachers to recognize them. And so we just want to say thank you. Um, you are amazing. You are the reason we're getting this award, and we just want to thank you and have a wonderful year.